Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Back to Borderlands, our completionist playthrough of Borderlands 1. So, we ended it here last time in the Dahl Headland. And uh, why have I got all of them weapons? Oh yeah, I suppose that's quite good. Um, they're not though, they need selling. Um, yeah, we ended up in the Dahl Headland, so uh, we've got a load of side missions to do. So we can go ahead and do them very quickly and uh, hopefully get up to... Uh, the point where we could possibly kill Skagzilla today, uh, at least. I'm pretty sure I want to go for Mad Mel today and try and get to uh, Old Haven. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We need to uh, take our time and build up a bit of XP before we go kill Skagzilla anyway. But I believe we've got to be, yes, just here. Oh, it's the little racing, I think, into it. Trouble is, these guys really do hurt your car. And I mean really hurt your car. So it might be worth just, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a badass poison scythed and uh, I'm just going to get out of here and uh, kill him by myself because if not, my car is going to get wrecked. Now where did that badass poison guy go? Because he was big. In fact, have I got a shotgun for this? Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's the, uh, that's just a, oh no, it is a badass. There we go, that's seven down already. Don't want to get too far from the uh, from the car. These guys are just getting uh, just getting shrecked. But can't do this all the way around. Where is the car? Car's there. Boom, get down. Right, there's another one over here somewhere. There's a bursting one. They're the ones that really do uh, do a number to your to your car. Hello. Where's this guy? Here he is. So all we've got to do really, I think, is just drive in the car, and any badasses or bursting guys will just stay well away from, and the rest we can just take with a cannon down with. I don't like to be too overcautious sometimes, but you have to be. Um. Why is it telling me to go back here? I've killed them all. I don't know where that badass went, right? But I mean, there is a load of cyphids in there. Can you, uh, or the walls? Some of them might be cleared out now. I'm wondering if you can uh, can do it in there as well. Let's check the vending machine as well. See if there's anything good in there. Nothing really. Let's see if all these cyphids are still in here. No, they've been cleared out. Yep, they've been cleared out. Okay, fair enough. I thought I'd check anyway. Right, let's just go around the uh, go around the little racetrack then, and uh, we'll see if we can. Yeah, we'll see if we can do all right there. Now, is there a carport down here just in case my car does get destroyed? Yes, there is. Right around the other side. That's good then. That's not too far to run. So, I don't want a really long run back because this is quite a long mission. And uh, here we go. Yeah, the car's not as powerful as my guns, but they're doing a little bit of damage. That's a bursting guy. We'll keep out of the way of him. Now, these guys do just come to you, actually, so... Badass poison. Side fit, right. Let's keep an eye on him. Wow, he's really taking a lot of damage, but he's going down. He's not doing much damage to us. Right, still up. There we go. Oh, there's a burst in there. Don't you dare burst on me. Right, we're halfway through anyway, just about. These guys are dropping a lot of weapons, actually, but I can't be bothered to keep getting out and uh, and killing them, uh, picking them up, sorry. There's a load of little ones here. These should rack up our points a little bit. Two down there. That's a crawler. Badass fire course. He's going down a lot quicker than the uh, the poison guy. Where is that one? I don't know whether to run these guys over. Actually, if they're not the bursting ones, they shouldn't do damage to our our car, should they? Let's see. 
Let's see. Right. 40. Oh, we only need 10 more now. That's uh, That's gone up quickly. There's a giant cyphid. Right, let's see if we can just... Yes, we can just run them over. That's a bursting one though, isn't it? Yeah, they're the guys we need to watch. Because they will wreck us. Um, I've only got 43 here. Yeah, we've not got many left now. Right, let's just go around here and uh, run these guys over them. We'll keep firing while we're running over. One more. One more and we're done. Dead. Oh god. There we go, now they're dead. Oh god, that was a bursting. I oh, didn't do too much damage. Wow, there's a lot of badass ones around here. Right, let's go turn that in. Um, actually, we'll not turn that in. Let's go do another one quickly. Um, that's the main story one. That's the that one. Let's go do the uh, yeah. Let's go find that last sniper rifle part, and then uh, we can. Oh, the guardians! They're going to be quite hard actually. I think you got to go down into the little pit. But I think you get you get some good weapons or a relic or something. I'm not quite sure actually. Right. I always hate finding this damn part. I can never find the right one. Uh, I want to be going, yeah, we're at Skagzilla, so I want to be going left and up. Up there, I think. Yeah, I always miss this one part, and I've just had a thought of where it might be, actually. I've just had a thought, I reckon it's in here somewhere. I do reckon it's in here somewhere, but I can never find where. There it is, yeah, I knew it. Damn it. That was so easy once I remembered. Okay, that's another one to turn in then. Uh, big game hunter. Oh, oh, what do we do? Now we're going to have to uh, do Ghost of the Vault then. Ghost of the Vault. I thought we'd have one or two more side missions actually before we did this one. But, right, we've got to find the elemental artifact then. Yeah, it's just around there on the right hand side. I think you've got to go up actually. It's right up there. Right, let's go see our first ever guardians then. Remember when I first came across these guys, I was like, what? the hell? Aliens? Right, here we go then. In fact, there's quite a few enemies to kill here, if I remember correctly. There we go, let's get some shotgun uh, efficiency. Boom. Get down, we'll pick that up. don't really use my turret much anymore either, do I? I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh, hello. Right, let's go for some heads then. Thank you. Let's go for more heads. I'm not very good with this sniping malark. Oh yeah, let's go for a head here. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, really go for some heads here. There we go. Stunned and dead. Haha. <laughs> right. We've got someone sneaking up on the other side of us, I think. There he is. Popped. Now let's go for shotgun. Can't, it's too dark to be precise here. Here we go. No. Aim. There we go. Is that it? I think that's it for these guys. Right, going down them. Going down. Should have really uh, waited till quit out and come back in, and then it would have been uh, daytime actually. But it doesn't matter too much. Did I just did I just see what I thought? Oh, it's only an ammo chest. Right. Oh, these are still raiders. That's all right. I thought. Don't want guardians yet. Shotgun's quite good actually. Let's get a good aid down. Transfusion, forgot the transfusion actually. That's uh, the one that I got when we rescued Lucky. Right, let's pick that up and uh, we'll just sell some stuff just in case I get a load of good, decent weapons. Crappy rocket launcher. That's a good machine gun, good rocket launcher. Incendiary shotgun. Hmm. Might keep that for now. That can go. Uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, that can go. That can go. What sniper? 230. 
247. That can go, that can go, that can go. Done. Right. Let's check this, see if there's anything decent in here. Class mods. Meh. Right, I'm not going to be able to snipe these guardians because they move very quickly, but they do come towards you and attack you. So I'm going to switch in between that and the shotgun. So what have we got? One and three? One and three, yes. Ah! That is creepy. Come on then. Come at me, bro. Let's get that shield down. Nope, not hitting it at all. Right. I've just realised something. Let's put the turret down here. And then, yeah, let it go to work. That's not doing much, but once you've got the shields down, they are shrecked. Shotgun efficiency down. Look at that turret doing the work. Well, that was easy than I thought. Right, let's find this elemental artifact then. I think it's in the chest, is it? Oh no, it's over there actually. Do I have to destroy that? No, I'll just pick it up, do I? Yes. There we go. Explosive artifact on our turret. Let's have a look. Shall we equip that? Or shall we keep it as firebolt? No, let's go for shock bolt. Oh no, I haven't. I've got to equip it, haven't I? Ew. Explosive bolt. There we go. Let's open that chest up. And yeah, let's change our turret. Let's try it out. Oh, it's a level 2 as well. Nice. Explosive bolt level 2. Definitely try that out then. Oh. Ooh. That is my new favourite shotgun, I think. <laughs> I think. Not too sure on that one, but we'll certainly try it out. It's scoped as well, so uh, it's a bit longer longer range. The accuracy was crap though, but uh, right, we've got uh, two yeah, two missions to hand in and we'll be level 23. That works out quite well actually. We've got our explosive artifact now on our turret, so I reckon we can go and slay Skagzilla. I reckon if we put the turret down on one side, chuck a few grenades at him and then just maybe fire this actually. I might be able to get him quite well. Especially uh, if you can hit them critical spots. I think he opens his mouth to roar. He's supposed to uh, hit hit him in the mouth with some critical shots. If I can get some decent shots on him there, he should be alright. He's not that powerful anyway. I think I'm just overreacting a little bit. I just always remember him being a pretty tough guy. But we shall see on that one. We shall definitely see. He might be a piece of piss and I uh, don't know what we've been worrying about. But... Right, so let's go hand in, yeah, let's go hand in our, these missions and we'll have one more level then, be a bit tougher, we ain't scared of him, oh, ah, now that will help us, it's only level 13, oh, now we've got to compare rocket launchers here now, I've just remembered we can use, uh, right, we're going to get rid of that because it's crap now, um, 430 by 3 or 336 by 3 it's got to be that one and I'm going to switch out my liquid sniper just for now I do like that sniper but I want to try that savage revolver as well we do need to use revolvers a bit more as well um, there's a vendor over here let's sell all the crap um, what have we got um, going to keep that just for now, I'm going to keep that just for now, and we're going to keep that and that just for now, we'll sell that, we'll sell that now definitely, and we'll sell that one because it's the, wor the worst one, so the rubbish of the two helix launchers, right, we've got a skill point to equip, I'm going to check my proficiencies very quickly as well, so uh, health regen, yeah, Efficiencies. What are we lagging in anything yet apart from launcher? Um, we could probably do a pistol being up one more and assault, yeah, combat rifle. And to be honest, sniper went as high as I thought it was. 
thought a sniper would be bigger than that, but uh, hey, just have to do some more sniping. But I'm gonna go, uh, gonna go in with this revolver. Actually, I think this pistol for Skagzilla and see uh, see what we can do. Right, I think you get yeah, you get to it here. Let's switch the mission so we can see what's going on. Uh, that one, no, it's that one. Big game hunter. Didn't know at the time that there was going to be a DLC in the next game called Big Game Hunt. Good old Hammerlock. Let me, no, Hammerlock's not in this one. Trouble. Yes, don't we know it? Right. I was just about to put my turret down then, but I forgot you've got to uh, place the bait. Oh my god, he's loud. Right. Me and you, sunshine. This is going to go quick, alright? You hear me? Right. Turret's going to go down here, and I'm going to run... No. That's not the plan. There we go. Raw. Come on. There we go. Let's get that in there. And let's see what this does then. Did that do any good? Hmm. Let's see what this does then. Nope. Yep, this guy's going to be tough. We'll get him though. Just got to wait for his mouth to open. Go on, do it now. There we go, good little critical shots there. Now we need to get that turret back. Come on, open your gob. No oh, criticals, come on, get them criticals. Let's chuck a grenade down, see what he, if he likes that. Come on, do some work. Ow. Right, I reckon we're going to get him down a bit more. And then we're going to use the launch to kill him. That will get our launch efficiency up quite well, I think. Whoa. Holy hell, you uh, got me there. Right, now raw. There we go. Right. Launch time. There we go. He's dead. In one more shot, I reckon. Yeah, you don't like it now, do you? There we go. That got my launching proficiency up too, actually. So that was quite good. That's the best thing to do, actually. Oh, what we got here? Static shotgun. What's that like compared to mine? Less damage, more accurate, less fire rate. No, no good to me. It's all about that damage for me on a shotgun. Fire rate's good, but you can learn with a shotgun to uh, get around it. He is massive, isn't he? Look at the size of you. Right, time to turn that in then. Um, how do you get out of here? Is there a ramp? Because you drop down to get in, but I'm not sure how to get out. How? Can you run up there? No. How the hell do you get out of here? I suppose I think you're supposed to just save and quit, aren't you? But it'd be not oh no, the door opens. Never knew that. I just always saved and quit out, but Oh now I'm gonna have to run all the way up there to my car, aren't I? There's no vehicle station around here, is there? Mmm yeah, but by the time I get to it. That is annoying. <laughs> that is very annoying. I could just save and quit out, but by the time I get to this car, I'm halfway there anyway. Right, it's time to take down. Is that the sign of Mad Mel over there, or is it that, uh, oh no, it's just that uh, thing I turned on, isn't it? Okay, let's go then. I think we should take down Mad Mel and then end the episode right there, and then the next episode we will uh, enter New, ha uh, sorry, Old Haven and... Uh, and carry on there. Right, do I turn that in here? Oh no, I might have to turn it in. Oh, we turn it in up there, right. 
Alright then, sorry. Actually, we might be able to pick another mission up. No, this is a side mission, isn't it? Not a main story mission, so uh, we won't get another mission off this guy. Maybe, though, maybe, I don't know. If that's the case, then we'll have to end it there and uh, not go kill Mad Mel, but... Plenty of progress, anyway, in this episode. I'd just like to clear side missions up now and again, definitely. Why didn't I drive up there? Why did I get out just there? Hello. Turn in. Ernest Whitting. I have killed Skagzilla for you. Oh, the elephant gun. Wow, that is powerful, but it's not, in a way. It's good accuracy, though, but it's crap fire rate. Well, I think that's it then. I think all of our missions are done and we can go for Mad Mel. Road Warriors Bandit Apocalypse. Yes, we can. But I think I've just changed my mind and I think we're going to leave it right there because I want to go and level up one level and I reckon the best way to do that is to kill Skagzilla again. Might do it now, actually. Might do it now. I'm going to test the sniper as well, actually, because... Not the elephant gun, I'm going to test my sniper with uh, Skagzilla because I reckon if I can get a more precise shot on them critical hits, it might do me more good. I think you can uh, farm Skagzilla as many times as you want. Yeah, 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 you should be able to. It, it does drop a unique actually, I think, as well, so uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I've got half a level to grow. I don't know if I'll be able to do this in one run of Skagzilla, but we'll definitely uh, definitely be able to get quite a lot of XP from him, I think. We'll see. We'll kill him once more, and if we don't get much XP, then we're probably over-leveled, and uh, I'll just have to carry on. But I'd like to be level 24 when we go and face Mad Mel. That'll help out quite a lot. Right, this time... Oh, I've got a quick... See, I've got a quick shot without even... Uh, his mouth might even be open there. Look at that, look at that. That sniper is bossing it. It's all about those critical shots. Come on then. Come on, open your mouth for me. There we go. Yes, definitely. One, one of at least two, two more runs, maybe one, and we'll get an extra level from that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and level myself up one, uh, and then we'll end the episode there. What is that flashing? Does that mean I've got to do something or? Oh, no, that's just a baiting in one. Can you farm him over and over again without quitting out? No, you can't. I don't know what that does actually. Why did it want me to do that? I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed another episode of uh, Back to Borderlands. Like I said, we're going to get one more level and probably two runs, maybe, of Skagzilla. Hopefully just one more. And uh, then I'll be back in the next episode to go take on Mad Mel and uh, defeat him and his cronies. And hopefully, I think then, if I remember correctly, you go to uh, Old Haven. You might not, though. I think... Do we get diverted somewhere? I'm not sure. But anyway... Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.